Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Saturday, October 29th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant run. Excellent ball game from Wrigley. Indians with another shutout. one nothing. Lead the series two games to one. Two astonishing stats. 14 straight wins in the playoffs for the team that scores first. The Indians, now 10-1 and one to the under, their entire playoff run. Amazing but true. Cubs shut out in the World Series one nothing for the first time since 1918 against the Red Sox. Who was the winning pitcher? You guessed it, Babe Ruth. Oh, man. Now they got to face Kluber. Although it is on short rest, they have to face Kluber on Saturday. And again, Baez is in a slump. Hayward's an automatic out. Nobody could come through. Indians really uh, should have won the game early. They left so many guys on base. But Baez with another horrible at-bat in the ninth inning. A base hit would have won the game. Couldn't even put the ball in play. That phenomenal Cleveland bullpen does it again. Good game. But the Cubs are up against it now. Because if, if, because you lose tomorrow, you're going to look at, even if you come back in game five, you're going to see Kluber in game seven. But you got to be able to rough up Tom. That was inexcusable. That guy's a junk ball pitcher. you got to be able to light him up. So we'll see how they do against uh, Kluber. <clears throat> and who knows what Lackey's going to bring to the table. That's a uh, great unknown. I don't care what Barkley says, he's a buffoon. The young talent and the superstars, the league's never been better. Westbrook, 50 points in a triple-double. The first time that's happened since the mid-70s. Anthony Davis has a monster game again. You see what Harden's doing, uh, especially to start. Kawhi Leonard with another great performance, at least the, the first two nights, what he did. I mean, that guy, pencil that guy in for 30 every night now. Now that Duncan's gone, he's taken so many shots. He's the guy that gets the ball in crunch time. But what Westbrook did, the come-from-behind win, a uh, great card in the NBA, a lot of fun. And the Nets get their first win as they get by the Pacers as well. Lakers, with they, they hung in there but fell, came up short against uh, the Jets. All right, time to tell you what I'm betting. Three big feature pro picks up at pregame. It's Saturday college football card. Some good ones. Washington and Utah, 1230 Pacific. Huskies laying double digits in that one. You have Clemson and Florida State. Only the second time Fisher's a home underdog. Last year, Clemson won by 10. So uh, a lot of sharp money on Florida State in this one. Fezzik's got his college football total of the month. That's up over my shoulder. Good fella. Pac-12 game of the month. Brad Powers also with the game of the month. All big, three big plays over my shoulder and up tomorrow. Up now, but they go tomorrow at pregame.com. We have a two-star up Sunday. It's in the NFL. Three pro, Two pros on this game. Five and one in our last six. You get that handicapping the cappers. Paulie's pick from the pros. As always, betting half a unit on the free play. Ken Thompson likes Wake Forest. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll talk to you Sunday from London on pregame.com.